Hello, it's me, Shiori, the girl who made that awful how to draw a warrior cat video, now that I look back on it. Um, yes, it's me, and my, I'm so famous, oh my god, I'm, not, I'm just kidding. But, um, it's probably been like two years since I made that video, and I've gotten some requests to make a new one. Um, I was like 11 back then, and I thought that was good, it was a good video, it's really not, it's horrible drawing but I guess you know 11 year olds think oh wow that's a good drawing and then when you're older you just look at it and like oh, wow and that's trash gosh anyways you may hear some dog barking in the background that's because I got a new dog like a year ago <laughs> anyways let's start with the sketchbook. Oh, my dog came. Uh, gosh, please don't ring the bell. Okay, that was soft. Actually, never mind. He's gonna bark and I don't like him when he barks. So, <laughs> nope. Let me just face the light like this. Um, I got a light attached to my stand now. Uh, my stand is vibrating. Jeez, wow, <laughs> I'm so professional, right? Anyways, <laughs> I tried recording this video before, Oops. and honestly, that drawing turned out horrible. It's bad, but uh, I haven't drawn a cat since then, probably. And you know, it's probably good to not bad. Um, let me just start with my name up here. That was long enough of an intro, so let's get into it. So, first off, you're going to have to start with a circle. A basic, simple, ovalish circle. Because you don't want the forehead to be short. Trust me, I made that mistake many times. It does not turn out looking good. And then you place the eye line where you want the eyes to be. It's very simple. You can make your character facing up, down, right, left, sideways. Basically anything with these. these, these this really helps. Now, I'm going to start off with an ear. Uh, and then go down and make it go in like that. Then I'm going to create a little half circle on the top, fill it in, because, oh geez, that ear is huge. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. This girl would probably be named Large Ear or something. <laughs> Hot Red Warriors, you know what? <laughs> this could just be a regular cat, too, if you really want it to be. And then... That ear is actually pretty good, but let's see how... Good. The rest of this turns out. I'm just gonna draw a bang. Uh, my last video didn't have bangs. For some reason, I figured out that I can't draw cats without bangs now. For some reason. <sighs> Probably because I'm going to that edgy 13 year old stage. But um, next step, we're going to do the other ear, which is basically the same thing, just slightly smaller. Uh, don't, anyone who thinks I'm bad at art, really, you're not. That's just stupid to think you are, because paintings that just have splatters all over them you get, can get into, a, like, a museum of art or something. <laughs> you're good at art, trust me. There's some professionals that you're probably better than. Just, like, believe in yourself, because I believe there's no such thing as good, perfect art. And there's no such thing as a bad art either. So don't let get yourself down because of art. I've seen people at my school tell me like, oh, you're so good at art. I'm trash. No, you're not trash. There's no such thing as bad art. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is the muzzle. For the last video, my muzzle was pretty big, but I like it. So I'm just going to do it, but like a little bit size down. You're going to do this. 
And then you're gonna create a nose. Oops, that's way too small. Uh, that's my dog. Like I said, you already hear some barking. Hopefully, it's not too loud. Because if it is, I'm gonna die because he's gonna be barking over me when I'm talking. And I'm lazy and I don't wanna edit things. But I do have an editor just in case that does happen. Uh, like You just saw me do something and I wasn't explaining it. Oh my god. But hopefully you get what I, you, you just saw. You do next with the nose, you're just gonna do an upside curved top triangle. Uh, you can make the nose any size you want because it depends on the cat you're drawing. Let me just make that less rounded on the top. Oh my god, dog, can you stop? Um, now you're gonna do a little square. This one, his mouth is gonna be closed because honestly, I think it's better when the mouth is closed so you can get a more of a good idea what the cat looks like. And so you don't have to just draw cats with the mouth open because cats don't always have their mouth open unless they're yawning. I'm gonna do this in Mouthy Boy. Make it curve up because it's still smiling. You want a happy cat. You don't want sad cats. I'm gonna turn this down. Now you're gonna make an eye. You make an eye. Um, I'm trying to do the same art style from my last video, How to Draw Bora Cat. I don't know what I'm gonna name this. Probably the same thing, except redraw on the title in parentheses. Uh, honestly, I don't know how that got 12,000 views. Thanks, I guess. Uh, that's the eye we're gonna do. There's different types of eyes you can do. You can do this one, this one, this one, if you really want to. I mean, there's different types of eye shapes, honestly. You have small eyes, big eyes, whatever. It's your cat. All cats are different, like humans. And you never, you'll never see like the exact same cat like copied and pasted unless they're like siblings, but like then there's still a small difference. Cause not every cat's the same, just like humans. I, I mean, maybe twins, but like we're not ignoring, we'll just ignore that. Uh, but I'm gonna add eyelashes since this is a girl with some eyeliner on fleek because I made that way too huge. Anyways, this is turning out better than my last one, thankfully. Uh, I don't like recording the same thing twice, trust me. That took 15 minutes. I mean, that's not wrong, but I'm supposed to do, be doing homework right now. And, uh, yeah. I still need to get work done. But I gotta comment on this video, um, well not this video, my last one, saying that I should redo it, and I'm like, okay, this is gonna be the break for my homework. <sighs> uh, then you do the other guys, just a little bit smaller. Uh, when you're doing the thing, I'm gonna attach it, the, the fluffies, the cheek fluffies. Mm. Uh, you can do any pattern you want, cheek fluffies. You really don't have to choose to the same one I'm doing. Then I erase the circle and do the other side. Don't attach it from the ear like this. You want to have it close to the eyeball. There you go. And then whiskers. Here you want to. They're totally optional if you really want to. Um. <laughs> Next, I guess, will be the body. When you want to do the body, you want to do a circle to tell you where is where and stuff. Like, this next circle that's going to be attached is going to be for the chest area. Don't make it too long or there'll be a long necky boy. <laughs> and no one wants a giraffe cat. I mean, 
Unless you want a hybrid. Yeah, unless you want a hybrid cat. Um, it looks long right here, but this is what it's turning out so far. See, it's not really... It's not really... Yeah, see, it's not that long as you think it is. Oh gosh, the most disturbing thing is like I popped up. But anyways, back to the tutorial. I'll try to face it in a way where you can kind of see. <laughs> Sorry, oh my gosh. Oh my god, guys, my finger like got in the camera. I'm so professional. Just I never, I never really thought that video would get twelve thousand views, but okay. Um, thank you. Uh, next we're gonna draw where the thigh is gonna be. I'm gonna draw the tail like this because it covers horrible paws I draw. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> paws are my enemies. Sorry, I'm just trying to face the light so I can face the, the cat thing. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I should have done this digital or on not digital, but I started with traditional because the other one wasn't traditional. Because I'm mostly a digital drawer, um, if that's a word. But you want to put another circle here, another circle here. Circle, circle. But that's what you do for the paws down. I'm going to draw the paw up because that's like way easier for me. Yeah, put that down. Paws aren't short, they bend. Like, bend. <laughs> Don't know what's gonna say there. <laughs> I'm very awkward, as you can see. Uh, yeah. But you wanna draw cheek fluffies? Not cheek fluffies, these are back fluffies. I'm offended at myself. You can't see me, but. My hands are in an offended position. <laughs> offended hands. But you're gonna draw lots of fluffies. I'm gonna draw. Oh my god! My paint's so broke. Oh my goodness, this is so sad. It looks so pretty just see tail. But you're gonna add uh, those uh, shoulders. Oh, yes. <laughs> And then, this is it so far. Uh, the neck's turning out weird, so I'm just gonna fix that. Cause I told you, I haven't drawn a cat in this style in like forever. And 14 minutes in, I can barely already start on the body. Like, and I somehow managed to fit the other one into like a 12 minute video. That's kind of strange. But if this happens and you make the neck somehow dislocated, uh, you can always fix that and like erase. Because I'm the erase and God. And I erase so much that none of you could have ever erased. Oh, it looks like that higher. Erased, erased. I really. Now, see, it doesn't look as weird anymore. But now we're just gonna try to do this arm. And trust me, I suck at arms. It looks long on camera, but trust me, don't make it this long. Because I can't make this go any higher. And make it so. Because you have to clip it to a table if. It was just clipped on something normal. Trust me, it will, you would have so much of a better view, but I'm unlucky and have to do this at the edge of the table where it gives you this weird view. Now let me move my computer back so I can show you how to do this paw. Now I suck at paws, so um, yeah, but you just do this, this, This is what it's looking so far, so you know not to do that paw that long. 
yet. Next, this is where they are. That's up. Oops, not in the camera view. I still have, I still make that mistake. Even when having a stand. Oh my gosh. That tells you how much I suck at making videos. But. <sighs> here, you're just going to do that. And make another one. So it looks like it's down. If you really want to, you can create little things right there. Little bumpies. Uh, to make it look like there's the paw pads. Um, right here, you're just going to draw. Oops. Let me. You're just going to draw little fluffies to signify. That's where the stomach is. And then you're going to curve it around like here. Body isn't that long. Keep in mind. Her body is not that long. Uh, maybe this will help. A little bit. Oh gosh. But then again, the real version of it makes her body look so short. So maybe this is this is better. Um, what you're going to do... Let me bring it closer to me. There we go. You're gonna do this. I'm not uh, the god of cat anatomy, um, but if you're still in this video, hi, hello. Just gonna draw the paw like this. I suck at drawing back paws, so this one's gonna be significantly worse than the others, but it's gonna be hidden by tail. So, shh, we're all good. We're all good. We're gonna, but this one, the one of the back paws, it's kind of showing. It's just gonna do the same thing. And now, the best part the fluffy tail. Oh my gosh, I love tails. I love drawing them. And you can start from really, really fluffy tail galore. Oops. I like drawing fluffy cat tails. Uh, all tails look different. <laughs> you can erase the paw if you want. That's what I'm doing. Uh, this tail is way too long, but whatever. It's fluffy. Gosh, you know what? Even on my favorite part, I messed up. But here you go. Uh, Let me take this off the recording stand. So okay, so you can see. That's how it turned out. Uh, better than the last one, might I say. And that's the end of our tutorial. Thank you for watching my sad self draw cat. Hopefully there wasn't too much to just disturb. Blech. I can't speak. Disturbances in the video. So... This is uh, Shiori. See you in five years. Bye. Why don't you run for me? What are you wondering? What do you know?